Camden Whitten was born without arms or legs, but the four-year-old did have plenty of determination, and with the cheers of his family ringing out all around him, he accomplished something that might have seemed impossible until it actually happened. Eighteen-year-old Texas resident Katie Whitten found out that she was having a baby and 18 weeks into her pregnancy. Her doctor scanned her belly. The ultrasound revealed that her baby-to-be didn't have arms or legs. The doctor said that Katie's unborn son had Amelia Focamelia, a condition that leaves a developing embryo without the usual number of limbs. As for Camden, he had tetraamelia, which meant he had lost all four. In most cases, tetraamelia is passed on by two parents who have the recessive gene and don't have any outward indications that they're carrying it. Katie was understandably shaken by the diagnosis. When I first found out he wouldn't have arms or legs, I thought that he would just be a vegetable. I didn't know what to expect, the soon-to-be mother of four told People magazine. On top of that, Katie worried that she wouldn't be able to care for her baby. She was only a teenager herself, after all. I had just turned 19, and I didn't know, am I going to be able to be good enough for him, she admitted. But her fears quickly subsided after Camden's birth, as he showed his determination early on. When he was around two months old, I had him laying on my bed, Katie recalled. I saw him out of the corner of my eye, and he was hitting the toys with his arms. That would be the beginning of her son's many milestones, which would often elicit the same reaction from his doting mom. Remembering that time when she first seen him play, for instance, Katie said, I started to cry. I was just so happy, and that confirmed that he was going to be able to do things. From there, Camden continued showing his mom what he could do. The baby not only learned to lift his head, but also rolled over and tossed toys too. After that, Katie knew that her son was a force to be reckoned with. He's shown me how I don't need to doubt him, she said. And by the time that Camden was four, he was ready to wow his entire family once again. He sat on the floor in front of Cole Green, his mom's fiancé, and the man he called Daddy, Katie, 23, filmed the video she later put on Facebook as Green says, there you go, come here, come on. You're doing it, Green says, and then he continues, you're sitting up all by yourself, you're not falling. But it turned out that he isn't motivating Camden to prop himself up. Green is trying to get the four-year-old to take his first steps. Green has his arms extended towards Camden as he encourages the young boy to move forward. You're almost here, Green says. Meanwhile, Katie can barely contain her excitement from behind the camera. Camden, I'm so proud of you, buddy, she says. With his family rallying behind him, Camden then takes his first steps. I'm walking, he exclaims. Green replied, you are. You are walking, buddy. As Camden inches closer to her fiancé, Katie informs them both that she is seriously crying. Then Camden's younger sister, Riley, comes to join the celebrations. She sits down next to her big brother and watches as he makes it all the way to Green. Now fall to me, Green says, catching Camden as the youngster leans toward the finish line. With that, everyone in the room celebrates. Riley jumps up and down as she shouts, yay. Katie tells her son that she is so proud of him. And Green scoops the four-year-old into his arms, saying delightedly, that's my boy. As for Camden, all he wanted to do was see the video his mom had made of him walking. And it seemed the rest of the world did too. Katie shared the clip to her Facebook page, where it quickly went viral in 10 months, it racked up more than half a million views. Receiving such attention wasn't an entirely unique experience for the Widdens, though. For one thing, Katie regularly posted images of Camden online. She used social media to share his condition with the world. Moreover, another video she posted to Facebook proved even more popular than the one of her son walking. In September 2017, Katie shared a clip of Camden and Riley having fun together in a playground. That video garnered 223,000 shares, 10,000 comments, and a whopping 15 million views. What's more, someone very special reposted it onto her Facebook page as well. Way to go, Camden. Sending you lots of love, wrote talk show host Ellen DeGeneres, who linked to the clip. And the top comment on DeGeneres' repost came from KT herself, who replied, Thank you so much for sharing this video of my babies and helping us spread awareness for the limb different community. To that end, Katie told people that she imagined that her son, too, would spend his life raising awareness and goodwill towards his community. Call it mother's intuition, but I feel like he's going to be one of those motivational speakers, she said. Regardless of what his future would hold, it was clear Camden had already changed one person's life, 
his mom's. I never knew how much I needed a little boy without arms or legs until I looked at Camden for the first time. Katie wrote in an Instagram post, he changed me into the person I am today and I am so thankful. This story was really incredible, but you will like the next one more. This four-year-old boy was being adopted, but then he held up a sign with a special revelation. For parents and children like Adoption Day is one of the most important moments of their life. Four-year-old Jeremiah can certainly attest to that as he finally became a member of the Dickerson family in July 2018. However, a few moments later, he held up a sign that revealed some very special news. A resident of Memphis, Tennessee, Jeremiah was a premature baby, suffering several health issues as a result. One of those issues was chronic lung disease, a problem that can develop in children who are born too early. With that in mind, the toddler required some important treatment in January 2017. Due to his health issues, Jeremiah had been fitted with a tracheotomy tube which helped him breathe. However, as a result of that, he needed medical care leading to his admittance to Le Bonfort Children's Hospital. While there, it was also discovered that the young boy was looking for a new family. Despite the unfortunate circumstances, though, Jeremiah managed to keep his spirits up, with his infectious smile grabbing the attention of pediatric nurse Jordan Dickerson. Before long, the pair formed a heartwarming bond as the youngster continued to get better. However, in Jordan's mind, this growing relationship meant so much more. I knew there was something different about him, Jordan told ABC's Good Morning America in August 2018. She continued, I couldn't get him out of my head. I called my husband and said, pray that we can bring Jeremiah home. At that point, husband Cole knew what was happening. Jordan started to fall in love with Jeremiah. Cole told People Magazine in August 2018. She told me about this little boy that smiled all the time and danced and was so much fun and they just connected. We were both on the same page like, let's do this. This little boy is up here, you're falling in love with him and I want to meet him. After that meeting, Jeremiah captured Cole's heart as well, with the pair now seriously assessing their options as potential parents. However, a few months later, the toddler was taken in by a new foster family, leaving Jordan heartbroken and somewhat conflicted. I knew that he was supposed to be our son, Jordan told Good Morning America, so I was confused and upset. With their hopes seemingly dashed, the Dickersons continued on with their lives, celebrating their first wedding anniversary in April 2017. At that point though, the pair received some news. Jeremiah was back at Le Bonheur Children's Hospital, looking for a family once again. With that in mind, Cole and Jordan wanted to seize their opportunity, eventually undergoing training to become foster parents. After some additional checks, the pair were then given the green light. The Dickersons took Jeremiah home with them in June 2017, welcoming the toddler into the family. For the next 13 months, the trio were inseparable as they enjoyed plenty of time together. However, on July 16, 2018, their lives changed forever. After more than a year together, Cole and Jordan made the adoption of Jeremiah into their family official, bringing smiles to all their faces. It was very exciting and thrilling, the former told people. It was a long time coming for the adoption to happen so we were high on emotions. We were ecstatic to finally make it official, Cole continued. Jeremiah was excited about it, as much as a four-year-old could grasp. He was like, we're already family. As for Jordan, she couldn't contain her happiness, taking to Facebook to spread the news. The day we've been waiting over a year for, Jordan wrote. The court system finally caught up to what we already knew to be true. Jeremia Evans Dickerson is officially ours. We have dreamed, waited, and prayed for this day for such a long time. It was even better than I ever dreamed it would be. However, Jordan reserved special praise for the people who had helped them along the way. I'm so thankful for our family, friends, and phenomenal support system throughout this entire journey," she added. You all are irreplaceable in our book. While the trio were already in high spirits, Jeremiah then revealed some equally exciting news on the courthouse steps. As the Dickersons posed for a family picture, Jeremiah held a sign that read, Today I became a Dickerson. Up next, Big Brother. Indeed, Jordan was pregnant with a baby girl, announcing the news to her husband ahead of the adoption. However, some time before that, their son made an interesting prediction. Jeremia one night was praying and was like, thank you God for my mommy and my daddy, Cole told people. Thank you for my baby sister in a couple of weeks. We were like, what did he just say? Three or four weeks later, Jordan surprised me one night and said, I just took a pregnancy test and it's positive. After sharing the picture on Facebook, Jordan was showered with positive comments, all praising her new family. 
I think Jeremiah is a very lucky young man to have people like you to love him so much, wrote user Robin Crowther. I wish there could be more people like you. Congrats to all of you. God bless. Indeed, fellow user Linda Buchanan reiterated those feelings, and she also hailed the people who had helped the Dickersons finalize the adoption. Beautiful, she wrote. Congratulations on the adoption and the baby on the way. God bless you, your family, and entire support system. With the baby due in January 2019, Jeremiah is incredibly excited, mapping out the future he hopes to have with his little sister. When we told him, he said, I knew it. Cole recalled to people. He says, I can't wait to teach her to play basketball and baseball and dance and sing. He wants to teach her to do everything that he likes to do. Adoption Day is one of the most significant moments in a prospective parent's life as they welcome a new face into their family. For Cole and Jordan Dickerson, though, it was a truly landmark occasion. Indeed, within a matter of moments, their family surprisingly doubled in size.